Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Samantha and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a fantastic deep hair conditioner. This deep hair conditioner is one that I've used a few times now and I have to say it has become one of my favorites and that's because it has so many benefits for the hair and also for the scalp. So this deep hair conditioner strengthens the hair, it's going to nourish the hair and help it to grow because of the ingredients that are in it. It's also going to add moisture to the hair and also to soften the hair, detangle the hair and just make it much easier to detangle and to manage. Before we get into the video, if you've not yet subscribed to my channel then please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button. Also give the video a thumbs up as you're watching because that will help to support my channel in so many ways. So what we're making today is a fenugreek and banana deep hair conditioner. Fenugreek has become one of my favorite ingredients in my DIYs because it has so many benefits. So fenugreek is a great source of iron and protein both of which are necessary for healthy hair growth. Fenugreek also has saponins and flavonoids which have been shown to be anti-inflammatory and because of those anti-inflammatory properties of fenugreek it has been shown to be an effective treatment for um, alopecia particularly if there's inflammation going on. The saponins in there, uh, saponin is um, a Latin word for soap, what you'll find is that the fenugreek, once you've soaked it in water, etc., it actually gets slippery. And that slip is going to make the detangling process really um, easy. And that's why this is going to be a great deep hair conditioner and it's going to help with detangling. The next ingredient is a banana. Banana is a great source of potassium, but also we know that it provides a great slip. If you slip on a banana skin, or even if you just feel the banana slices, you'll know that it's very slippery and that slip is also going to help with the detangling. But bananas also have enzymes in, in them which help to soften the hair. So this deep hair conditioner is going to help soften your hair. The next ingredient is honey. Honey is a great humectant. So what we're going to do is add moisture to our hair um, through water and the honey is going to help to keep the moisture in our hair. Honey also has healing properties. So if you've got a little cuts or little sores on your scalp as long as they're not big sores obviously then the honey can help to heal those as well and the next ingredient is olive oil olive oil my hair loves olive oil it will help to nourish the hair nourish the scalp and also just to condition their hair so that it's nice and soft and easy to manage easy to detangle and easy to style and of course we've got a water because water is going to be what's going to add moisture to our hair so the first step is to soak the fenugreek in hot water. So I'm using um, powdered fenugreek here, but if you wanted, you could actually just use the um, fenugreek seeds, but you still need to soak them in hot water for about two hours. And that's so that we can soften them, uh, but also to stimulate the saponin release so that it becomes nice and silky, because otherwise if you just add it as it is, fenugreek can be quite gritty. So I find using the powder a lot better because then um, it absorbs the water a lot more and then that will create the nice um, silkiness that, that we're looking for. So I'm just going to add two tablespoons of fenugreek and I'm just using a glass jar here, but you can use anything. So you just want something that's going to withstand the heat of the boiled water and also something that you can cover. Okay, so it's been two hours since the fenugreek has been soaking in the water and as you can see, this was just a, two tablespoons if you remember, but because um, that powder has absorbed the water, it's actually kind of doubled in size, if not three times. Um, and that's exactly why you want to use powder because it's more effective in terms of absorbing the moisture, the water, uh, which is exactly what we want. And we're going to use everything in this jar. So not just the powder that's been soaked, but also this fenugreek water, which is um, at the top. So I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, so from being just powder, it has soaked up the moisture
and this is what it looks like now it's all slippery and that is what I was talking about when I say this is going to give a slip So now we're just going to combine everything and we're going to blend everything. And I'm just going to put one tablespoon of olive oil. One tablespoon of honey. So now I'm just checking to see um, what it looks like and it's very very thick as you can see and um, so what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of water just to loosen it up because um, we put the, all that banana in there we need to strain it and if it's this thick it's going to be difficult to strain so I'm just going to add a little bit of water just to um, loosen it up a little bit. So this is what it looks like. Um, as you saw, I added water bit by bit, and that's because I didn't want to overshoot and add too much because the end would have been too liquidy. So I do still want it to be on the thicker side because um, then it'll be easier to apply and it'll spread through the hair beautifully. All I'm going to do now is strain it. So even though we blended it really well, banana does have fiber in it and you want to remove that fiber. Otherwise that fiber is going to get stuck in your hair and it won't be pretty and it'll be a nightmare trying to get that out so you do need to strain it so you just use whatever you've got but i recommend something really fine what i'm going to use is just the end of a pair of tights which is my you know my usual and and i'll show you what it looks like after i strained it So this is all the fibrous stuff that you really want to get out, otherwise that will get stuck in your and hair. This is the final result. So I'll just show you what it looks like. It's this creamy texture and as you can see it's got lots and lots of slip and that's exactly what you want. So it's going to help you detangle, it'll add moisture, it's going to just be perfect for your hair. So um, I'm going to show you how I use it. So I've just shampooed my hair just um, with just a, a normal shampoo. I haven't added a conditioner because I'm going to go straight into the deep conditioning process. So as you can see, this is thick and gloopy and it has lots of slip. And I'm just going to apply it all over the hair and also onto the scalp. Um, Obviously, if your hair is much longer than mine, then I recommend that you section it out into four, six, or even eight sections because that will make it easier for you to apply. But even though my hair is short, as you can see, I am applying it bit by bit and not just as a whole. And um, as you're applying it, you'll immediately feel the slip. This thing is just amazing for slip.
So I just carried on applying the deep hair conditioner all over my hair, making sure that each and every strand was coated and also that it was all over my scalp, basically each and every inch of my scalp. So once I had applied the deep conditioner throughout my hair, I then worked it into the hair and this will help to get all the benefits of the um, deep conditioner into the hair. And as you're working it, you'll feel the slip. Honestly, it's incredible. And this is going to really help you to detangle your hair. So if your hair is really tangled um, or it gets knots easily, then honestly, this is definitely... Um, a deep conditioner that you really want to try. So massage the scalp as well because of all the benefits in there. So you just want to stimulate um, the hair growth and massages are good for that. And then also make sure that you apply the deep conditioner to your edges um, because we do tend to forget those areas. So make sure each and every strand of your hair is coated and then massage your scalp for just a few minutes. So if like me, you've made far too much than you need, then you can actually freeze this and use it um, another time. So it'll last in the freezer for about a month. And then once you're ready, just cover your hair with um, a plastic shower cap and leave it in for about an hour. You can leave it in for longer if you like, even two hours is fine, but you need to wait for at least an hour. So after an hour, this is what it looks like and my hair feels so amazing um my coils are popping it is so smooth it is so silky and honestly my fingers are just running through it and um, it just felt amazing So now it's time to rinse it out and I recommend you rinse it out with warm water otherwise it'll be a bit tricky to rinse it out and this is the result. My hair looks amazing. It feels amazing. It's so soft, so nourished, so strong and um, just wonderful. So guys I hope you try this and if you do please come back and let me know. Um, again if you haven't subscribed to the channel please hit the red subscribe button. Give the video a like, um, a thumbs up, share the video and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.